Hey, it's Brian Wimmer from X Dance. I'm here with the crew from the Bra Boys. It's the Brokela Films guys. You're gonna see all the Bra Boys action here on Planet X. <laughs> Growing up, I mean, um, we had a lot of crazy things happen, like guns held to our heads, chased down the street of people shooting at us, all sorts of things. Beach was our life. That's all we had, really. But it's good. It turns us into what we are. Located only 14 kilometres from Sydney Harbour, and five beaches south of the world-famous Bondi Beach lies Maroubra Beach, a suburb with a poor history, but one of rich characters. We, we've never made a movie for people to like or dislike. We made a movie because we wanted to tell a story that was our story, and we knew that story people can relate to, and it can help kids, and it can help a lot of people in, in our situation. I would honestly say, without a doubt, the most localized surf community I've encountered is Maroubra. Police are licking their wounds after a vicious brawl with a notorious beach gang. They call us a gang, they call us all these names, and we're not a gang, it was just a good old-fashioned brawl. The Bra Boys, it's a brotherhood, but sometimes it gets a little ugly. We grew up in a, a housing commission area. Um, our parents were drug addicts, most of our friends were from the similar backgrounds that we were from. And there was a a lot of touchy subjects that we yeah. knew would polarise people. But we wanted to raise certain social issues, you know, about us and and the way we grew up. It made us all realise that, you know, the family life at home can finish at any time, but the boys will never, never die, you know? The boys will always be there for you. In those early 90s, everything seemed to be falling apart. Our only real structure was Ma's and Ma's house, but um, Ma had a stroke and she was left paralysed and speechless down one half of her body. So we knew at that stage that as a group to survive and to get through it that we really had to do something. And we knew that by uniting together that it would be the only way that we, that we could get through it. And that's how it came about. Sonny actually said, oh, let's all... What, what about the Bra Boys? We are like, yeah, the Bra Boys. <laughs> Hey, what's up? This is Sal Masakela, original host of Planet X, and you can catch Bra Boys right here on Planet X. Planet X is brought to you by the Wave House in San Diego, the Royal Palace of Youth Culture, and by the Hilton Garden Inn at Del Mar in San Diego, and its sister property, the Homewood Suites. Finally, a hotel that's like a home and also the official hotel for Planet X Television. Well, there's nothing better than all the boys being out in the surf together, calling each other into big waves. It just gives you that release. The brotherhood for me is, it's, it's not a game thing or, a, or just a surfing thing, but it's a family thing. And I, I think people, you know, no matter who you are or where you're from, can relate to that in one way or another. Hey, I'm Brian Wimmer. I'm the director and founder of X Dance, the action sports film festival. I'm here with the man, Sal Masakela. Good to I, see you, Sal. I, I like to, to refer to myself as the boy investigating manhood, <laughs> but thank you for, for, for that title. It's nice. We're here at uh, the screening of Bra Boys. It is, they just released the DVD. Mm -hmm. um, you had a, uh, the North American premiere. 
uh, at X Dance this year, and you guys won Best Documentary. You were nominated for uh, Aspiring Filmmaker, for all kinds of things this year. It was an absolute incredible event, especially because Sonny and all the boys were there. That was yeah. quite a... Well, you know, X Dance for, for, for Berkela Films, for the, the company that I do with my partner, Jason Berg, uh, X Dance has played such an integral part in our, our overall growth. You know, ever since this uh, platform has been provided for action sports filmmakers to, to really have a place to showcase their work past, uh, you know, necessarily just how many videos you sell and a forum for different categories where filmmakers who are working really hard to tell the stories, the real stories that can resonate, you know, with the rest of the world outside of just action sports. Uh, ever since that place has come along, I think it's really it's really inspired creativity. I think it's inspired people to take chances and make the films that they normally wouldn't and get the financing to make those films uh, that they normally wouldn't. Um, for me, personally, X Dance has been, uh, you know, I started, you guys asked me to come and, and present and host at the X Dance probably. Very uh, first year. Very, very first, first year. year. We were brand new and we got Sal Masakela to stand up in front and tell everybody in the world that we're here and we're ready to make this thing go. And you literally launched us. Um, we, uh, we, 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 we launched it together. I did my little part, but I was really happy to lend my voice then just as an announcer, someone who spoke as a voice for, for the culture that I lived and didn't just talk about. And now to be able to have transcended that as not just a voice, but to be able to, 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 to do that as someone who's a filmmaker, uh, it's a really an honor to be able to, to make it come full circle. Wow. Um, it's 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 been great. So we we as a as a film company and Brow Boys in general, I mean, we are definitely indebted to X Dance uh, for the success that we're enjoying right now. You know, we're at at mainstream DVD. We're selling out of uh, Best Buys across the country. Mm -hmm. um, if you would have told me years ago that you know um, that we'd be able to do that with a film like this, with a, a story that doesn't even come from our shores, but it, that's from Australia. Um, I would have probably laughed and said that's not really possible, but it just goes to show how far we've come as a, as a culture. And the winner is for best documentary, <laughs> the Broad Boys. Broad Boys are doing it larger in Park City. First day on the mountain, sick, beautiful weather, beautiful snow. Yeah, it's been a good trip so far. We had a really good screening the other night. They said it was one of the biggest screens they've ever had in the history of the X Dance Film Festival. We're stoked. Bra Boys, Utah, 2008. G'day, Utah. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's been great. I mean, um, my only experience of Sundance has been an episode of Entourage, really. <laughs> you know, we've got Cove, Sonny, and all the other boys here, and we've just been rolling around in a crew. We've been snowboarding all day, so. It's, um, yeah, it's, it's been real surreal, but it's just been good fun. I just want to give a shout out to all the filmmakers out there. Um, I don't know how it is putting hours and hours and you know dedicating so much time of your life into something. So um, this goes to all the filmmakers. Peace. The nominees for Emerging Filmmaker are Sonny Everton, Bra Boys. Bra Boys. Bra Boys. Bra Boys. The Bra Boys. The Bra Boys. Bra Boys. It, it's a it, it's a landmark film for the action sports world, just like you said. It really brings everything that we've been looking to do as a film festival, X Dance, all together. And we just want to say congratulations, you guys. This is just we are just so glad that we could be a part of it. Well, and thank, th you. thank you for all the nice words. Thank you. I mean, you know, at the end of the day, it uh, it comes down to relationships. I think relationships are the key that that make the action sports industry stand apart from the rest of, of sports. I always joke with people that if uh, there's one thing that action sports, the action sports industry suffers from, but it's actually a good thing, is that it's ridiculously incestual. We only want to get in the business and make projects with people we know uh, and believe in and care about and, and, and know are invested 
you know, have a real investment in the things that they're doing. And that's one of the great things about action sports is, uh, is while people are competitive, they're willing to put those things aside to, to make things happen. The first time I come to America was probably 1996. Yeah, I just saved up some money from the doll and got over to Hawaii and surfed. I came to America a long time ago when I was 15 years. We're here trying to launch the Bright Boys movie. The last five years making the film has been quite an up and down roller coaster ride for, for me as the director and for the whole family and the whole extended brotherhood. We overcame a lot of obstacles in Australia to get the film released. I mean, on the night of the release, there was death threats. The, the authorities down there tried to ban the movie. We ended up breaking our box office records down there in Australia. I'm excited about coming here and, and launching the movie here and all that sort of stuff. Our first screening down at the Huntington Beach Film Festival, we were really you know, really anxious and really nervous just to see the reaction. We won the best independent film on our first screening. We were, we were just stoked. We really wanted to just come and kind of spread the story of, of our lives and our culture and, and how important that we think it is. It was my relationship with Jason that we started 10 years ago when we met at uh, the US Open of Snowboarding in Vermont. You know, I was on my second show. This was actually the first show I ever hosted, Planet X. Planet X. This is the first <laughs> microphone you ever held. First, in fact. first microphone I, I ever, ever hold, held right here, uh, which is, is kind of a trip to me to be on this side. But I was doing another show there, and, and Jason had walked up to me and had seen some of the things that I'd done and appreciated the way I spoke about action sports and said, we're going to make some projects together. We're going to make some films together. And uh, that's how we started uh, with Brickela. You know, another relationship was uh, a guy by the name of Ian Voteri, who Ian actually helped me get into the X Games uh, as a broadcaster. I had met him in San Diego uh, at one of the X Games and saw that he had an X Games badge on. And we met again, you know, in 1998, became friends. I went to work at ESPN. And, you know, on the back end of things, Ian came to work for us. Uh, at Brickela when he was done with his tenure at X Games and, and helped us develop uh, our, our marketing, the projects that we've been doing uh, with both Brian Deegan's Disposable Hero and ironically through another mutual friend that we had in Australia, a guy named Gus Buckner, actually put us on to the fact that there was actually an opportunity for us to be able to bring this film here to America and, uh, and to rework it and produce it here, you know, and put us in touch with the Bra Boys, and then we were able to build that relationship with the Bra Boys, them coming here and spending time with us and breaking bread with us, you know, us, Jason specifically, going down to Australia and spending four days that we could probably make a movie on on its own <laughs> about what that was like for him. But really, you know, it's, it's really, people say, how do you do it? How do you guys do it? It's relationships, man. It's really about relationships, and if you can find a commonality in your goal, you know, and what you want to make and get everybody on the same page and relate to each other to make that happen, then, uh, I get, then I, you, get, you get to sit here in this chair, you know, and I'm, I'm, I'm just one mouthpiece of a group of a lot of people that have, that have helped make this, this possible for these types of films to even to be possible to be talking about at this next level. The first time I surfed with Kobe was at um, Himalayas in, in Hawaii, and it was that morning it was about 25 feet, 20, 25 feet, really big. It seems like since that time, Kobe's been on a mission to surf big waves, and he's just completely pushed himself. Whether it's going to Jaws and getting waves, or you know, surfing some crazy slab, sort of shallow, thick thing, you know, like Cyclops or wherever. It's like he's the first guy to to 
you know, organize a ski and get his boards and be up early in the morning. And, um, you know, he, he's totally driven. Kobe's a powerful surfer, and that's what I'm always impressed by, because that translates to big wave riding. You gotta have power to be able to match power with power. Seeing him surf at Tavarua last month, you know, a couple months ago, it was big, and uh, the waves had a lot of a lot of power and a lot of open face, and um, you know, he impressed me as much as anyone. With the best guys in the world were out that day. Laird Hamilton was out. Um, you know, Luke Egan, Danny Wills, Andy Irons, Joel Parkinson, you name it, they all were surfing. And, um, you know, I, I saw Kobe draw as good a lines as anybody that day, and probably better than most of the guys. Hey, after this little break where we pay the bills, you can catch the action right here on Planet X. I have been ridiculously lucky, man, you know, to have witnessed Tony Hawk's 900 in San Francisco standing on the vert ramp. My hair was that long uh, when that happened. But literally getting to, to, to witness that and be there and be a part of that, that magic night, which in my opinion was the shot heard across the world in 1999 when that happened and it was a Friday night on ESPN and you know on in prime time and people were watching in bars as this dude is obviously trying to kill himself to do this thing that I don't know what it is, but all those people are fired up. I'm going to root for him too. And then boom, he makes it. And when Tony made that, that was it. You know, it was on. It was on for Action Everybody. Sports as a whole, X Games, whatever. We were really on the map. And to be able to have, to have played part and, and been witness to so many other moments like that, you know, be it you know, Danny Way's ridiculous performance this, this last year, you know, here at this, this last X Games, or Jake Brown last year, you know, uh, to, to have been there and witnessed some of Kelly Slater's Fananigans as he goes on to be probably the definitive ninth world champion of, of surfing. Um, Travis's deal. So many different moments, man. It's uh, it's been it's been fun to be in the right place at the right time. Why don't we take a look at a trailer from our fantastic film released by Berkela Films this year, Brow Boys. Have a look. Police are licking their wounds after a vicious brawl with a notorious beach gang. They call us a gang, they call us all these names. We're not a gang, it was a fight, and we won. Premier Morris Yemmer insisting the people behind the riots have declared war on society. Was it true the Bra Boys were involved in protecting the police last night? We don't protect police, full stop. It's a brotherhood? But sometimes it gets a little ugly. At the core of this story are the Abbotton brothers. Sonny, Jai and Kobe. I'm not one fright, not one bit scared of my son hanging with the boys. A professional surfer has been charged over an underworld murder.
This is Brian Wimmer with X Dance. You know what? It was really great hosting Planet X, and I hope that we will work together sometime soon. I want to thank Sal and Jason and the Bra Boys. Make sure you check out X Dance this year. It's the third week in January. Don't go to sleep. Place is crazy. We're heading down to the Anaheim Booth. Toby's got a few signings. We've got all the boys going down to back him up. Um, we've got the major screenings tonight. ASR in the cinema, so things are going good, man. You know, let's roll. Ah, uh, we're here at the Anaheim Booth. There's my shots there, and they're number one. That's how we do. Number one seller. I get them, they're the ones. Oh yeah, these guys are my sponsors. I think we've got like a, a signing set up. <laughs> yeah, we're taking it. Causing trouble. No matter where we go, causing trouble. Nah, 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 causing trouble. Anywhere we go, causing trouble. We're here in ASR, San Diego. It's probably one of the biggest shows that we've done here. We just arrived on the bus. All the boys are flipping out. The crowd's going mad. We've got all the whole surf industry from all over America here. Here we are. It's been, it's been a crazy day. We all rocked on the bus. It's going to be a fun night, and hopefully everyone enjoys the film, and that's a good night, so that's what we're here for. No, I, I'm hyped on that, man. I mean, I, as a kid, we grew up and we had our own skateboard gang called the BSL, the Business Street Locals. And all of my buddies grew up in broken homes with drug addict parents, so it's like, I relate to it, you know? Awesome. That's all I can say. The Rob Boys can charge hard, for sure. It's really sick, but really good. They come from such a broken home and such a hardcore life, but they yet stuck together as brothers, you know? And I think that's something that needs to be said, and I think this movie was a awesome, you know, uh, portrait of how people stick together through tough times. Hey, this is Brian from X-Dance and Planet X. We'll catch you next time.